Welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's have a look at the different things you can do here. Now, this isn't a concern if you're just playing the basic game at the basic level. I think um, in a previous video, I mentioned you can increase your difficulty level. Normal, advanced, elite. Elite, obviously, more drops and a higher chance of getting higher quality drops from defeated enemies. This is the engineering officer. He will repair your ship. If you if your if your character gets blown up oh, Yeah sure why not? I just joined a fleet. Lovely. Now in a previous video I was explaining about fleets and how you can I mean that just come up randomly so I may as well get into it quickly um, other Klingon officers if you're gonna make a, a bunch of different Klingon characters I mean hell you might be a woman and you want to make yourself into a sexy guy or a Ryan chick who knows whatever you want to do um, or you might be a weird pervy guy who wants to make a sexy Orion chick and dress her in skimpy outfits and yeah <laughs> anyway so I've joined a fleet on this character so let's have a look quickly oh this is a good fleet they've got everything now I can't really do much at this rank so I'll leave I'll leave a pin in that and I'll once I've leveled this character up I could go to another character and, and do it but if you're just starting the game there's no real point so you're probably wanting to watch this video, learn a few things, and, and just, I don't know, <clears throat> progress as you progress with your first ever character, okay? So this isn't really relevant now. It'll get relevant when you can actually do things with it. Because when you can do things with it, you'll get fleet credits. When you get fleet credits and you rank up within the fleet structure, you can go to fleet um, bases, fleet holdings, and you can buy stuff that costs dilithium and fleet credits, which will turn your ship into a monster, turn your character into a monster. So we'll leave that for now. Um, go back, going back to repair ship injuries. Ship injuries. If you blow up in space. Um, You'll get timed out and then you'll respawn if you're playing at a higher difficulty level you will collect ship injuries and likewise if you're on the ground and you get defeated and you have to respawn you will pick up injuries they weaken your character and they actually make it harder um, to a small degree You'll have to take your character to a medic on one of the star bases or Kronos, the city. There's a medic somewhere there. Um, explore. You'll find it. I'm not going to go looking for it now because there's something I want to do in this video that's um, along the lines of ship selection to discuss a little bit. Give you a bit of an insight on what ships you can use. Now you just repair all you don't want to just go through repairing it either. just repair all get rid of them and then go back out with your ship fully functional again and strong as it can be okay now this guy we'll leave him for now where's the uh, okay so this guy is where you acquire ships get a new starship Okay, we'll uh, get rid of that. So this is the rank you're at now.
I don't have 850 dilithium, so I can't buy this ship. This is a Romulan ship, so. But hey, I like that. It's pretty cool. This is from the original Star Trek uh, series. Um, oh, what was that episode called? Balance of Terror. Oh, highly recommend you watch that. That was a for a 1960s show. It was it's it's intense. Oh. Who cares about special effects and whatnot? Balance of Terror is uh, one of the best Star Trek episodes ever. Anyway, so this is where you can purchase new ships. As you get promoted, you'll be able to get different ships. I believe I've already got this. This is the ship I'm flying now. These are, you know, your basic Klingon ship. First see these in um, the Star Trek movie these Klingon ships have flanking not all ships have it but Klingon ships have flanking so what that means is around this arc if you attack an enemy ship around this arc from behind them or off to the side slightly you will do additional damage so i believe i, I mentioned before the klingon modus operandi is you cloak you go into a battle cloaked you get around behind the enemy you uncloak and you hammer their rear arc as hard as you can now These are shuttles. Okay, cool. What's this? These are, these are ships that, I mean, I don't wanna fly around in a Starfleet ship as a Klingon, but what's that? That's pretty cool. Okay, so cruisers, escorts, and science vessels. Obviously, they are ships that are specific to your career. But just because their careers, they 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 favour career specific officers, doesn't mean you need to be that career to fly it you can chop and change as you like you might prefer to rock around in a cruiser regardless of your career but the thing is with consoles career aligned ships tend to favor that careers consoles like an uh, cruisers tend to favor engineering consoles science vessels will favor science consoles and ex escorts Escorts. Escorts will favour tactical consoles. I'm not going to edit that out. Hey, we're human. Birds of prey are unique in that they tend to not favour anything and their bridge officer stations are anything. See, like this, you've got career-specific bridge officer stations. Two engineering officers, a tactical, and a science. Birds of prey, universal stations. But as you go up the ranks with birds of prey, Cooled in bird of prey. You'll get a lieutenant universal. Raptors are basically Klingon escorts. Battle cruisers, cruisers, see, engineering consoles. Piss off. bird of prey 
Oh, that one's that one's sexy. I like it. Um, again, Gub to Commander. Look, you'll get a free ship. So choose wisely. Choose what you like. And build your ship based on that. Um, let's, okay, the Birds of Prey. Okay, Bird of Prey. You got four Universal Bridge Officer stations. A Lieutenant Commander. A Lieutenant, two ensigns. Raptor. That's the Klingon version of an escort. Katinga battle cruiser. That's the um, Klingon engineering ship. See the best with the career specific ships. The best console will go to the career of that bridge officer. So Lieutenant Commander, engineering station, bird of prey. Doesn't matter. Raptor, Lieutenant Commander Tactical. Klingons aren't really big on the science vessels, so. Although Gorna, which is weird, you wouldn't expect that. Sukub Raptor, Escort. Yeah, so unfortunately, in terms of science vessels, Klingons don't really have science vessels until higher up in the ranks. So, if you're a science if you're a science career officer, you're a science career character, probably stick with Raptors because, I mean you can put your science officer in that but it depends it depends what you want to get out of your, your thing um, science officers have good um, abilities good um, space abilities but so do tactical and so do engineering and depending on what you want to build if you want to build a tank then you'll probably favor engineering if you want to build a healer you'll favor science if you want to build uh, you know, a damage your favorite tactical, and it doesn't matter what your career specific thing is, they all they all they're all good, just depends on what you want to you want to make your officer into. I chose it, I, I tend to do science. Um, my main's actually tactical, which is it's, it's a good character, but I chose engineering because it's my least favorite, but just even though it's my least favorite just to show that it's still good if you choose it it's still good it has really good features um but the, this this is the ship selector so you get your ship you get promoted to a new rank you go to that rank and select a rank appropriate ship appropriate <laughs> a rank appropriate ship whichever one you choose and work on it so having said that ship selector <gasps> no no I didn't want to do that oh! that's where you select ships and customize you can decorate ship I'll do a video about that I'm embarrassed <laughs> I'm no disappointed edits. he was able no to edits. get off Kronos, but not so. No edits. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's ship selection. <laughs> In another video, I'll go into selecting a ship, switching between ships, figuring out what works for you and um, also to show you what the um, customization could do like designing make giving your ship a look but just quickly ships weapons to 
torpedo. Deflector, uh, impulse, warp, shield, turret. Turrets are the same as, um, what do you call it? Omni direction beams in that they fire in a 360 degree arc. I've seen someone who equipped only turrets. Pretty cool. So all weapons fire in all directions. But for this kind of ship, you want you want some punch up front. Oh no, what is that for? No, stop it. Yeah, so for this particular ship type, you'll want some punch up front. Got no devices at the moment, no consoles. Hopefully, when I get a, a drop from combat, I'll be able to show you what consoles do. But they go there. There's universal consoles, which you tend to get from events and late game. Um, missions they go in any of these slots obviously the better the higher rank a ship up to T6 the more different consoles you'll get you'll get more than that depending on the ship type you know science vessels favor science as I said before um, I'm disappointed he was able to get off Kronos. Oh. There is work. Congratulations. You oh. Okay. I'm going to close it there. And I'll get into that next video. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, leave comments. Yes, this a video was a mess. My apologies, but hey, hope you get a laugh out of it. <laughs> uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.